Oh, guys, I can't believe we still haven't found a good story for the school newspaper. There is literally nothing in my head. I spent all night last night thinking, and the best I could do was a story about my cat, Snowball. He rolled onto his back, and it was so cute. But it was the kind of story you would find on page three, even page four. Maybe I'm not the roving reporter I thought I was. It's because nothing much happens in the town of Loveheart, Skip. I really wanted to find a story important enough for the front page. And with Gretchen and her team also looking for a story, we can kiss that front page exclusive goodbye if we don't come up with an idea. We can't be defeated, guys. There must be something in this town we can write about. Well, there is the lady who lives with all the cats. We could interview her and take a picture with her and all of her cute little kittens. That would be a good story, Bibi. But there's only one problem. The lady with the cats doesn't like children. There is a big sign outside her house that says so. Oh yes, I forgot about that. I once stepped on her lawn by mistake and she chased me down the street with a broom. Now I walk on the other side of the road, just in case she sees me. Oh well, it looks like we'll never find a good story to tell. Gretchen will get the front page and we will be relegated to the space next to the crossword puzzle. We can't give up that easily, guys. There must be a story to tell. We just have to find it. You're right, Skipper. At any moment, a story could fall from the sky. We could be casually walking along the street, like we are now, and a story could pop out of nowhere. We just have to wait and see what will happen. Ah! Martha, are you okay? I didn't know you had a twin sister, Skipper. Nice to meet you. I'm Martha. She's delirious. It's me, Martha. Skipper. I think you're seeing double. Are you hurt? I'm okay, Skip. What happened? You were hit on the head by a stray soda can. It was thrown by a mean teenager who has no respect for the town. Hmm. How many soda cans did he throw at me, guys? Just one, Martha. And there was still a little soda inside. And it splashed on my dress. Hmm. If the teenager only threw one can of soda at me, why am I surrounded by many, many stray cans? Wow. Some of these cans are really old, guys. They don't even do this flavour anymore. They stopped making it, like, three years ago. And I remember why. Burger and blackcurrant did not taste good. I tried it once and I was sick for a week. It was just a flavour combination that did not work. Guys, don't you realise we are already knee-deep in a very important story? You mean we should ask the company who created this soda why they thought burger and blackcurrant flavoured soda was a good idea? Hmm, it's a good story, Skip, but I don't think it's front page news. I think Skipper means the trash, BB. That is the story we are already knee-deep in. Hmm, this is a big story, guys. It is a story about a wonderful town, inhabited by wonderful people. But it is also a story about lazy people who can't be bothered to find a trash can to deposit their trash. We need to highlight this issue, guys. Not because we want our story to be front-page news, but because we want to keep our town wonderful. Now, let's clear as much of this trash as possible and then take it back to Skipper's house. I have an idea. I think we need to talk, girls. Is there something you need to tell me? <laughs> I'm confused, Skipper's mom. Well, I know you girls love your smoothies, and I'm okay with that as long as you drink them in moderation. But drinking this much soda is not good for you. Oh, Mom, we didn't drink all that soda. And that is a bag of trash we picked from Love Heart Lane. We brought it home because we are going to highlight the issue of trash when we talk to the mayor tomorrow. You're meeting with the mayor? That's right, Skipper's mom. I emailed her on Chinwag, and she was so shocked by our story, she agreed to meet us tomorrow. I'm going to ask her why any soda company would think burger and blackcurrant was a good idea. Is that okay, Mum? It's more than okay. I'm very proud of you all. Now, can I get you girls anything? I'll have a soda, please. Get rid of the trash! 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 Get rid of the trash. Are we live? Oh good. Hello, we are live at the mayor's office, waiting for Skipper, Martha and Bibi to arrive. And here they come now. Skipper, how many cans of soda did you find? The public have a right to know. No comment. Martha, how does it feel to have a bump on your head? No comment. Bibi. How do you feel about the return of burger and blackcurrant flavoured soda? No comment. Will you be making a speech about how much you dislike it? This is it, guys. 
We must raise awareness for our issue and we must not be silenced. Skipper, Martha, Phoebe. May I say what an honour it is to finally meet you. Now, I understand you want to raise awareness for a very important issue. Yes, I want to know who thought it would be a good idea to mix burger with blackcurrant. Have that issue, Bibi. The other issue. The issue we spent all night talking about. Oh, yes. Um, well, me and my friends Skip and Martha went out for a relaxing walk yesterday and we were shocked to see an issue worthy of any front page. My good friend Martha suffered a bump on the head from a stray soda can that hurtled through the air like a frisbee. Then, when she flopped to the ground, we found ourselves knee-deep in a pile of trash that dated back to that time when somebody thought it was a wonderful idea to mix burger with blackcurrant. And I did a little research last night whilst we were watching a repeated episode of Retro Barbies. And during my research, I realised burger and blackcurrant flavoured soda was taken off the shelves over three years ago. That means that rusted can of soda has been there for a long, long time and nobody has bothered to pick it up. As the mayor of our town, I think you should know there are people living amongst us who don't respect our beautiful streets. It is a very important issue, Mrs Mayor, and it is an issue that needs tackling head on. If we all did our bit as a community, we could make our town clean again. But it will take teamwork. We're just too busy to do it all by ourselves. I agree wholeheartedly. Now, do you have any suggestions of what we should do? Hmm. Now I may need a second to think about this. Mm, that's not a very good idea. Oh, that's stupid. <gasps> I've got it. Tomorrow is trash day. I think we should all meet on Love Heart Lane. And, as a community, we should rid this town of all the trash we can find. We need to put the love back into Love Heart. I think that is a wonderful idea. And, as the mayor of this wonderful town, I implore all our viewers at home to join us. Thank you, Skipper, Martha and Bibi, for bringing this issue to my attention. It is our pleasure, Mrs Mayor. Oh, and we're just getting word from inside the Mayor's office that a deal has been struck and the Mayor has given the go-ahead for a nationwide trash-picking event to be held at Love Heart Lane tomorrow. Oh, oh, and I'm just hearing we have some more breaking news. It appears that the company producing burger and blackcurrant flavoured soda have promised never to make that flavour again. It looks like the whole town has come out in force to help our cause. Even Gretchen is here. Who would have thought that a bump on the head would lead to such an important story? It's amazing, guys. We found a story that everyone can relate to. Now, if we could only find the person who caused the bump on my head. Would you shout at them, Martha? I would want to, Bibi, but I would thank them instead. Without this bump on my head, we would never have realised such an important story was waiting to be told. I wear this band-aid with pride, because without it, none of this would be happening. Now, let's take out the trash, guys. 